Hi, I'm Brandon Rayner from Brandon Rayner School of Massage and Natural Therapies. I'm here today to talk to you about head tension. So, we have many muscles in our face and in our scalp, and these can cause all sorts of problems when they become tight. So, again, as I was talking in previous videos about residual tension, we can find that the body can hold tension on a semi-permanent basis. So, for example, many people think that wrinkles are there naturally, but often wrinkles in the face are actually due to facial tension that's stored there. Um, there are many other problems that can happen through facial tension. For example, tension in the jaw can cause it where people can't chew properly or they have grinding of the teeth at night. Um, tension in the scalp and head can cause headaches. Um, tension around here can cause um, headaches as well and, uh, and a lack of clarity in uh, what we call our third eye vision which is in Ayurveda, a chakra here. So basically with head and face massage we're finding any residual tension in the head and getting rid of it. Okay, So whether that be in the sinus area here, many people have congested sinuses and we can massage through here clearing out the, that sinus tension. We do a lot of massage through here in fact, this area here, where people tend to get uh, sometimes lines here, they get tension here. We want to get all that tension out so that a person has a nice, calm frontal part of their brain and it's nice and smooth through here, getting rid of all the lines in the face. We do a lot of scalp massage, so a lot of tension headaches can come from little bumps that are underneath the scalp, so we want to get rid of all of that tension there. We also uh, want to work right up into the chin and even massaging the ears. There's a whole system of ear reflexology which means that different points on the ear relate to different parts of the body. So it's like a little curled up baby, right? the head being up here going right into the limbs, the, the legs down here. So it's interesting that whole systems of reflexology have been designed around ear massage. Now not all headaches can be cured just through head massage. So for example in Chinese medicine, this particular acupressure point right here is used for headaches. So this one here called large intestine 4. Now in Rainer massage, we also equate, we have bands of tension that come up through our thumbs and one of these comes up into the side of the neck and into the head. We also have bands of tension that are coming all the way from our big toes and up into the back of the neck. So when we're looking at treating a headache, we're actually looking at where is the source of that tension. Is it in the fingers, is it in the thumbs, or is it in the toes? And then we would work from the source of that tension coming up the limbs, so either up the arms or up the legs, and then get that tension out from its source. So head massage is very much um, interrelated with the rest of the body, but it can be enormously beneficial for those people suffering from migraines, from chronic headaches, from tension, from stress, from insomnia, and from all sorts of different problems, even vision problems, sinus problems, jaw clenching, and um, many other, many other problems. So having a good, deep Rainer head massage will provide enormous benefits, especially when done with the rest of the body. Thank you very much for listening. We look forward to seeing you at our next video.